In this video, we will be classifying three different types of triangles according to their sides. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's get started with this video. For the first triangle, we have an equilateral triangle. And for this type of triangle, all the sides are equal. So when the side is 10 centimeters long, that means this side will also be 10 centimeters long and this side will also be 10 centimeters long. All of the sides will be exactly equal. And for another example, when this side is 45 millimeters, this side will also be 45 millimeters and this side will also be 45 millimeters. But there's another way we can indicate that this is an equilateral triangle without giving the exact measurements. When we use this symbol, one stripe on each side, this means that all the sides are equal in length. So this can also be a way to indicate that this is an equilateral triangle. Now let's look at this triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. And for this type of triangle, two sides of the triangle will be equal. So we have two sides of five meters. So two sides that are equal, and then another side of two meters that's not equal to the other two sides. Let's have another example. Let's say we have two sides of 20 centimeters and another side of 10 centimeters. So two sides are the same in length. But again, we can indicate that this is an isosceles triangle without using exact measurements. So the two sides with the same symbol with the two stripes, they are the same in length where the other side is not equal in length. And now for the third triangle. This is a scalene triangle. And for a scalene triangle, none of the sides are equal. All of them are different in size. For example, this side may be 12 centimeters, but this side 7 centimeters, and this side 15 centimeters. So none of them are equal in length. And let's look at one more example. This side can be 50 millimeters, this side 35 millimeters, and this side 65 millimeters. So again, none of them have the same length. So this is a scalene triangle. And how do you think that we will indicate that this is a scalene triangle without using measurements? We can indicate that by using a different amount of stripes on the different sides. The one side has one stripe, the other side two stripes, and the other side has three stripes. So that means none of them are the same in length. Now let's classify these three triangles according to their sides, but only using symbols. Now for the first triangle on the left, this triangle has three different side lengths. As you can see, all of the sides have a different amount of stripes. The one side has one stripe, the other side two stripes, and the third side has three stripes. So this means all of the sides have a different length. So this is a scalene triangle. And how about the second triangle in the middle? We can see that two of the sides have the same symbol. Both of these sides have two stripes, so this is an isosceles triangle. And for the third triangle on the right, we can see that all three sides have the same symbol. All three of the sides have one stripe. So this is an equilateral triangle. Now let's classify the next three triangles. But this time, we use the measurements to classify them according to their sides. So for the first triangle on the left, we can see that two of the sides have the same length. So this is an isosceles triangle. And for the triangle in the middle, we can see that all three sides are equal in length. So this is an equilateral triangle. 
and for the last triangle on the right, we can clearly see that all three the sides have a different length. So this is a scalene triangle. And just like in all my other videos, there will be a free worksheet and memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet with the memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.